Hello everyone, I'm back and this is the uh, craft I talked about in the story that uh, you just watched or, or listened to. And here's my sample. Here's what the front looks like. And here's what the back looks like. And in our story, there's one of the buffaloes, um, I talked to you about how the um, Indians of the Plains would use the buffalo for everything. And one of the things they would use the buffalo hide for was to make these envelope-like bags for storing their dried meat and dried fruit and things that would last them through the winter or during the times of famine when there weren't buffalo around for them to hunt and have fresh. And I had read to you previously and shown you this page kind of a sample of one of their parflesh bags. And they would dry the buffalo meat in the sun to preserve it. And they ate this in the winter when it was too cold to go out or when the hunters couldn't find fresh meat. Great quantities of dried buffalo meat were stored in large folded rawhide cases, rather like envelopes. Oh, looks like an envelope. Called parfleshes. Bulging parfleshes made a family feel secure against hunger. If there came a time when there was nothing left to eat, the parfleshes empty, and everyone went hungry and they starved. And so I thought we could make, you could make your own car flesh. And I want to do mine. You can see the, uh, the ties. There's the ties there on theirs. And I just used yarn. And then I open it up. I didn't have any dried meat. <laughs> so I had these dried dried here at my house. And then you could eat. So if you had anything dried at home that you wanted to use, either beef jerky or dried blueberries or apples, you could stick in your bag. And then what I used, aha, I used a Trader Joe bag. I liked it because the bag reminded me of buffalo skin or the rawhide. And I just cut out a big rectangle, like so, and I wanted the side showing out that didn't have the Trader Joe stuff, so I put it like that. And then I folded it in until it met itself like that, and then I folded up these sides. So that it came together like that, overlapping a little bit. You can see there. I punched some holes in these places for the yarn. And then I just used, I'm going to stick my apple. I used some drawings I had to trace that were of. Indian-like symbols. This one I traced buffalo. But as you saw in the, in the story, the Indians actually used uh, or decorated beautifully painted designs. Geometric designs. There was one page at the beginning where it showed a whole bunch. Yeah, here they are. And we saw those on the pages throughout the book. Get some ideas. You can really make it your own. You can see how symmetrical they are. Each quadrant. One, two, three, four, the same. And then I, if you wanted that, I just got some white paper. These are my own designs. Um, that you could color and glue. This one will be a little harder because once you had it in place, you'd want to cut it in two. 
so you can have the opening. And I'm lacing through my yarn through the holes. <laughs> and you can have your very own parflush bag. And feel a little bit like a mm, an Plains Indian that was uh, had plenty to eat. Okay, have fun. You can share your um, finished product on one of our Zoom calls if you like. Take care.